In this video we're going to talk about the threshold voltage, um, which is the voltage um, between that defines the point between depletion and inversion. The reason why this is important is because when we start talking about MOSFETs or MOS transistors, uh, being able to put the transistor into inversion will be important. So we want to know what's the minimum voltage required to put it into inversion. Okay, in order to figure that out, we need to look at charge distribution. So we'll, we'll look at a p-type MOS capacitor. Um, in order to get it into depletion, I'm putting some positive uh, potential on the metal. That's building up this positive charge in the metal. The uh, negative potential is on the semiconductor. I can have some storage charged, stored charge in the oxide, and I'm going to create this depletion region. Uh, in the semiconductor that also represents some charge. So the amount of charge should balance that is the amount of charge in the metal plus the amount of charge in the oxide should be equal to the magnitude of the charge in the depletion region and the amount of charge in the depletion region is going to be equal to the electronic charge times the doping concentration times the width of the depletion region and because we're at threshold the point between depletion and inversion. That's the maximum depletion region width that I'm going to get. So it's the maximum amount of charge that I'm going to store in the depletion region. Now let's take this and let's look at the energy band diagram. Same kind of bias. Positive side on the metal, negative side on the semiconductor, and let's call this bias Vg. If we want to write an equation for that, uh, what that uh, bias is, that's according to this equation um, that's written on that slide. And this corresponds to our threshold voltage. So we're going to donate, denote this special voltage as it, that Vg is equal to Vtn. Threshold voltage, the reason why there's an n here is because this is the threshold voltage when we're inducing a inversion layer of electrons at the interface. So remember the bands are bending down. Um, I'm building up a, a layer of electrons here at the interface once I'm going into inversion. So that's why there's an N here, N for electrons. Okay, so if we rewrite VG as VTN, we can also rewrite our equation a little bit from the first one where this V ox T is going to be the charge in the metal divided by the oxide capacitance and if I look at the charge equations that I just went over I can make another substitution so instead of looking at charge in the middle I can use the charge in the depletion re region and the charge in the uh, that's stored in the oxide. So if I want to represent my threshold voltage differently, I can use this equation. Or if I want to use flat band voltage instead, um, this last equation is equivalent. So these last two equations are equivalent to one another. 